Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am stuffing my envelopes for the second week of October. Um, it is Friday, October 8th, I think. Um, and we will be stuffing $473. So let's count it up and make sure we have that. So we have 100, 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300. 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400. 4, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So 460, 461, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 470, 471, 472, and 473. So it is all here and we are going to get set up in our cash tray today. And I think I won't have enough slots for all of this now. So I'm going to combine these right now. What do y'all think of the cash tray? I'm loving it. I understand the hype now. Um, if you missed my last video, last two videos, this is what it looks like. I um, put my like brand label on it. Big fan, big fan. Okay, so we are still in my mini wallet and I am using these really tiny mini envelopes. So we will just take those out. Um, I leave my receipts back here and I put my coins up here. They probably could fit in this little pouch too, but I just put them in that little front pouch. So I haven't done change with y'all in a while because it usually bothers me and I just take it out before my videos, um, but we're definitely getting close. We'll be able to cash it in by the end of the year for sure. So groceries, we spent everything. Um, we never stuffed it because of my HelloFresh box. Eating out, I did spend everything. Spending, we do have $1 left and fun, we spent everything and I love these new envelopes. They're so cute. So with this $1 bill, I'm going to be putting that in my $1 savings challenge envelope. I decided to jump on board and I wanted to get a big envelope because the $1 savings challenge tends to get really bulky. Um, so I made this one and it's super cute and I really, really love it. And I will be selling a few of these. So if you're interested, go check out my Etsy shop. That should be live now by the time you're seeing this. Um, so check it out um, and it expands like this so you can hold a lot more ones than you can in a in a regular envelope so I thought it was super cute so I went ahead and made it so that's it for unstuffing so now what we're going to do is stuff our envelopes and because I haven't um, made a new digital planner um, this was what we stuffed for week one and this line is what we're stuffing for week two and then I'll update my totals on this um, it's a little crowded a little busy but um, it's just the way that I am going to do it because um, I didn't have time to create a new template yet. So there's nothing left in any of my envelopes, so we are just going to stuff them fresh. So first up, we're gonna do $75, 50, 75 in groceries. Sorry if my voice is a little low, it's early. <clears throat> So I don't have a HelloFresh box this week, so I should be able to use all of this actually at the grocery store. Eating out is getting $25, and I did that in two tens and a five, so ten twenty-five. dollars Really proud that I didn't go over budget on that last week, so this week will be another test. So $25 in eating out. And then spending is just getting a $10 bill, and I already know what this is going towards. I have an appointment today and I need a tip, so that will be where that goes. And then fun is getting 20, and I did that in two tens. So 10 and 20 going into my fun envelope. And I don't know if I'll use this or not, so we'll see. I used my fun money last week on a date night with my boyfriend because I'm trying not to spend out of my pink binder, my cash envelopes. Um, so I used my fun money for that. So now we just will put this in my wallet, in these little accordion files, and just sit them on in there. 
and then I'm going to take out these receipts so that I can scan them into cash rewards. I will put my um, referral code up on the screen. If you are not on Fetch, what are you doing? It's basically free money, so definitely check it out. Use my link and you'll get an extra um, 2,000 points when you sign up, and I will also get an extra 2,000 points when you sign up. I think once you scan your first receipt is when I get it actually, so. Moving on to our cash envelopes. Today we are going to be putting a um, dollar in books, which is one of my new categories. And so we have one, two, and three dollars in books. I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. And I'm really hoping this uh, reminds me to read more and to save for that because it is important to me. Clothes is also only getting a dollar. And we have one, two, three also in clothes. Um, I would love to buy some more clothes this season, so I'll try to hopefully, like into the fall or winter, so I'll try and bulk that up soon. Date night is going to get $5, and it has $5 right now, so now it will have 10. And again, I'm trying not to spend out of this this month, so hopefully that gives it time to build up a bit. Electronics is going to get a $5 bill this week because I am trying to bulk this one up um, just in case I need, you know, a new iPhone at some point or something breaks. So now in electronics, we have 50, 70, 90, 95, and 96. In electronics. Fitness and wellness is next, and it is just going to get a $1 bill. So now we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42 in fitness and wellness. So haven't spent anything out of that either, which is also good. Gas today is going to get 25. So we are going to do a 20 and a five. So now in gas, we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. No. Yeah. Yeah, 40. I saw this 45 and got confused. I do have a pretty much a full tank right now, so hoping I won't need to fill up this week. Giving is going to get a $1 bill. So we have one, two, three, and $4 in giving. Going out or fun money is going to get a $10 bill. So now we have 10, 25, which is nice. I do want to build this up before I start allowing myself to spend it. Household today is going to get $2. And now we have one, two, three, and four in household. Medical is, hasn't changed. It's still at 351, so I'm just going to skip that one. Self care is just getting a dollar, so now it has two. And then spending is just getting a dollar, so it just has two also. And that is it for my cash envelopes. And we are going to move on to my yellow binder for some sinking funds. Okay, so birthdays is fully funded with $130. So that is not getting anything this week. Family is going to get $1. So now we have two in family, which is just for when I visit my family or they visit me just to have some money for us to do some fun things. Um, future is going to get a dollar and now future has two dollars and that I want to bulk up more once I'm done saving for my Texas trip, which will be this cash stuffing. 
Holidays is going to get $15. And that's going into, sorry, I just had a sneeze attack, but we're gonna put $15 into my anniversary. So now in the anniversary, we have 20, 40, 50, 50, no, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, and 80. So we have $80 in the anniversary. And in Black Friday, we should still have the 140. Oh, I thought I had 140. I guess I just have 120. Oops, 120 plus 80. So we should have 200 in total in holidays. Yes. So that is it for holidays. And I do need to add a New Year's Eve one um, next month or this month at some point. Planner is just putting a dollar, but again, I got to bulk this up at some point because there's November launches coming next month. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, and 41. So hopefully I can add some more here. Subscriptions is capped at $30, so we're not stuffing that. Vacation is going to get a $5 bill today. So now we have 20, 25, 30, and 35 in vacation. I must have added that wrong last time. Oh, I that's because I added some at um my side hustle, maybe. Volleyball today is going to get $10. So now in volleyball, we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. So $54 in volleyball. Weddings and babies is going to get a $5 bill. So for any friends that have babies or have weddings, this is like for gifts and such. So we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 20, oh. Ha. Okay, so we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, and 27 in weddings and babies. And then my one week ahead fund is getting $5. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110, and 115. And the goal is about 160 of spending money, which includes basically these envelopes plus gas um, are the ones that I try and budget for for my one week ahead. So that is it for the yellow binder. Okay, I have to rearrange my setup a little bit for Big Blue, but she fits like this. Um, we are starting with car maintenance, and car maintenance today is going to get $10, and we are working on oil changes right now to beef this back up to $100. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60 in oil changes, which is technically enough for an oil change, but I like to have enough money for filter replacements and things. So that has 60 in it. My deductible has 250. And then my emergency fund should have 140, which it does. So in total, we have 450 in my car maintenance envelope. We'll bring my iPad back in on the scene for this. 450. Put these back in here. And then we are doing Christmas, which is coming so soon. So if y'all haven't started saving for Christmas, we definitely recommend getting on that. Um, we are going to add $15 to events, I do believe. So we have 50, 60, 75. Yeah. So we're going to add the full 15 here today. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So getting close to being fully funded on events. So we have 90 here and 400 everywhere else. So that's 490 in total for Christmas. So almost at 500 and the goal is 600. So we are getting super, super close. Oops. So that is Christmas. My friend's wedding is fully funded, so we're not stuffing that. 
Um, moving is a new category for me. If you missed my last video, I did explain it. Um, but for the, this month, if everything's just getting a dollar because I haven't had money to budget for yet. So now moving just has $2 and we are starting with fees because that is the most important thing to have up front before you move. Uh, but I won't be moving till like April or May. So we've got time to build this. So now we have $2 in moving. And then seasonal activities is also a new one where I just want to save ahead for different seasonal activities for different seasons just to do some fun things. So this last dollar is going into winter. So now we have $2 in winter. Because that is going to be the first one I save for and then eventually use. So that is $2 in seasonal activities. And then today we are finishing stuffing my Texas trip. Oops, I always do this. Today's the day we fully fund it because I just kind of want it done. And I was gonna do $20 each of these weekly stuffings and I was like, let me just fully fund it so I can be done. Um, so we need to finish up spending. So spending the goal is 100 and we have 20, 40, 45, and 50 right now. So putting another $50 in there will fully fund it with 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. So my spending money is fully funded. And then my miscellaneous category, the goal was to have 100. So we're just gonna put this $100 bill here. And now we're fully funded. So my Texas trip is done. And we have saved $1,875 for that trip. I have already spent some money that I noted down here. So I'll go through, you know, a budget update with y'all um, in a future video to kind of talk through what's been spent and what I have to take with me on the trip. We'll stuff my travel wallet. All of that good jazz is coming this month. If there's anything else you want to see to do with this trip, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, it is fully funded. We added $150 today, and we have $18.75 in there now. And then last up is student loans. We are going to add a $50 bill to student loans today to pay off my loans. So now we have $500 and $600 in the bank, and then we have $650, $700, $720, $740, and $760. So for student loans, we are at $760. So that is really great. Very, very happy about that. Okay, so last up is going to be my savings challenge box, which was inspired by Tara Budgets here on YouTube. And I just decided to make my own. And we are going to put 5, 10, 15, 20 in there today. So now we have a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So we'll just pull numbers and can't, until we can't stuff anymore and just see how it goes. So we are going to put 20 away today. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, which is what I budgeted for today. And these fives, I think I'm going to hang on to um, because there aren't as many five envelopes as there are like 20s and things. And so I think I'm just going to keep hanging on to this. So these are the ones we've stuffed and these are the ones that we need to stuff. Obviously, we have a long way to go, but very excited to be doing this challenge. By the end, I will have $2,000 I'll have $2,000 in this box um, and I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It might go towards my moving fund or it might go towards debt, um, depending on how, I, how much progress I make on those categories throughout um, the next few months. So thank you all for tuning in today. That's it for this cash envelope stuffing. And I will see you in my next video where I will stuff my envelopes for my side hustle income for the second week of October. Hope y'all are doing great and I'll catch you in my next one.